My friends, welcome. Thank you all for being here today. I'm honored that you've taken the time out of your busy lives to join me. Now, I know what you're all thinking. This is going to be another one of those motivational speeches where some guy gets up on stage and tries to pump you up with a lot of rah-rah energy and empty platitudes. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not what this is. This is something different. This is me sharing with you from the very depths of my heart and soul the story of how I stopped overthinking and started living. You see, for the longest time, I was trapped in my own mind. So I would analyze every situation, dissect every decision, ruminate endlessly on every possible outcome. And you know what that got me? Nowhere. It's absolutely nowhere. In fact, all that overthinking was paralyzing me. I was so afraid of making the wrong choice, of not having all the answers, that I would end up not making any choice at all. And let me tell you, that is no way to live. But then something changed. I had this moment of clarity, this epiphany, where I realized that all this overthinking was doing was holding me back. It was keeping me from taking action, from moving forward, from truly living my life. And I said, enough is enough. I'm done with this. I'm done letting my own mind be my own worst enemy. And let me tell you, my friends, it wasn't easy. Changing the way you think, the way you approach life, it's not something that happens overnight. It takes work. It takes dedication. It takes a willingness to step outside of your comfort zone and embrace the unknown. But let me tell you, it is so worth it. Because when you stop overthinking, when you stop trying to have all the answers, you open yourself up to so much more. You free up mental space to focus on what really matters. You're able to be present, to be in the moment, to truly engage with the world around you. And let me tell you, that is where the magic happens. Think about it. When you're constantly stuck in your own head, analyzing every little thing, you're not really living, are you? You're not experiencing life to the fullest. You're missing out on so much. The laughter of a loved one, the beauty of a sunset, the thrill of a new adventure, all of it gone because you're too busy worrying about what might happen next. But when you stop overthinking, when you learn to trust yourself, to trust the process, to just let go and live, that's when the real living begins. That's when you start to see the world in a whole new light. The colors are brighter. The sounds are clearer. The connections you make with others are deeper and more meaningful. Now, let me tell you, my friends, that is a freedom like no other. To be able to move through life without that constant weight of overthinking on your shoulders, it's like a burden has been lifted. Suddenly, you're lighter, you're freer, you're more alive than you've ever been. Now, I know what you're thinking. But, Jim, how do I stop overthinking? It's just so ingrained in me. It's like a habit I can't break. Well, let me tell you, it's not easy, but it is possible. And I'm here to tell you how. First and foremost, you have to be willing to let go of the need for control. I know, I know, it's so tempting to want to have everything figured out. To have a plan for every possible scenario. But the truth is, life doesn't work that way. There will always be uncertainty. There will always be the unknown. And the sooner you can embrace that, the sooner you can start to let go of the need to control every little thing. And you know what? That's okay. That's more than okay, my friends. Because when you let go of that need for control, when you start to trust in the process, that's when the magic really starts to happen. That's when you open yourself up to, to the infinite possibilities that are out there waiting for you to embrace them. Now, I know what you're thinking. But Jim, how do I do that? How do I just let go and trust in the process? Well, let me tell you, it's all about shifting your mindset. It's about reframing the way you look at the world, the way you approach your life. Instead of seeing every decision as a make or break moment, start to see them as opportunities. Opportunities to learn, to grow, to explore. Instead of getting bogged down in the what ifs and the worst case scenarios, start to focus on the positives, on the things that are going right. And you know what? The more you do that, the more you start to see the world in a whole new way. Because the truth is, my friends, the world is not out to get us. It's not this vast, scary, unpredictable place that we have to constantly be on guard against. No, the world is full of wonders, of possibilities, of beauty. And when you stop overthinking, when you stop trying to control every little thing, you start to see that. You start to appreciate it in a way that you never could before. And let me tell you, that is a game changer. Because when you start to see the world in that way, when you start to embrace the uncertainty and the unknown, that's when the real living begins. That's when you start to discover who you truly are, what you're truly capable of. And let me tell you, my friends, there's nothing more exhilarating, more fulfilling than that. To be able to move through life without that constant weight of overthinking holding you back, 
to be able to embrace the present moment and all the beauty and wonder that it holds. It's like a whole new world has opened up to you. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, Jim, that all sounds great, but how do I actually do it? How do I stop overthinking and start living? Well, let me tell you, it's all about taking small, consistent steps. It's about making a conscious effort every single day to shift your mindset, to let go of that need for control, to embrace the uncertainty and the unknown. And you know what, my friends? It's not always easy. There will be days when the overthinking creeps back in, when the fear and the doubt start to take over. But that's okay. That's all part of the process. The important thing is that you don't give up, that you keep pushing forward, that you keep making that conscious effort to let go in live. Because let me tell you, the rewards, the freedom, the sense of possibility that comes with stopping the overthinking, it is unlike anything else. It's like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders and you can finally breathe, really breathe for the first time in your life. And you know what, my friends? That's what I want for all of you. I want you to experience that freedom, that sense of possibility, that pure joy that comes with living in the present moment without the constant burden of overthinking weighing you down. Because the truth is we only get one life, one chance to make the most of it. And if we spend that life constantly trapped in our own minds, always worrying about the what ifs and the worst case scenarios, then we're missing out on so much. We're missing out on the laughter, the love, the adventure, the beauty that is all around us waiting to be discovered. But when you stop overthinking, when you start to trust in the process, when you embrace the uncertainty and the unknown, that's when the real living begins. That's when you start to see the world in a whole new light, to experience it in a way that you never could before. And let me tell you, my friends, it is so worth it. It is so worth the effort, the dedication, the willingness to step outside of your comfort zone, and embrace the unknown. Because the rewards, the freedom, the sense of possibility that comes with it, it is truly priceless. So my friends, I urge you, I challenge you to take that first step, to make the conscious decision to let go of the overthinking, to trust in the process, to embrace the uncertainty and the unknown. And you know what? I promise you, it will change your life. It will open up a whole new world of possibilities, of joy, of fulfillment that you never even knew existed. And you know what the best part is? You don't have to do it alone. I'm here, you all are here supporting each other, encouraging each other, lifting each other up, because that's what this is all about, my friends. It's about coming together, about building a community of people who are committed to living their best lives, who are committed to embracing the uncertainty and the unknown, and who are committed to helping each other along the way. So what do you say? Are you ready to stop overthinking and start living? Are you ready to embrace the freedom, the joy, the pure possibility that comes with letting go of that constant need for control? Because if you are, then I'm here to tell you, the world is your oyster. The world is waiting for you with all of its wonders and its beauty, just waiting to be discovered. So let's do this, my friends. Let's take this journey together, one step at a time, one day at a time. Let's embrace the uncertainty. Let's trust in the process. And let's show the world what we're made of. Because let me tell you, when you stop overthinking and start living, the possibilities are endless. Thank you, my friends. Let's get started.